up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Unlaced Podcast. Uh, I am your co-host, Chris, hey. with my host, <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> Look at this guy. Today? I'm good, bro, you know, uh, recording from my couch. Mm-hmm. Um, real cozy, you know, I got a blanket to my side just in case. Um, Official unlaced long sleeve weather now. You know? Yeah, you know, um, we if you didn't cop, you, you missed out. I'm sorry, you know. Yeah, you know, you know this, uh, this, this some, this some early that you should have been on. Oh, true. Just letting y'all know, you know. That's really cool because that shirt it has the. I think that was one of our first retro tags. That was, that was our second retro tag actually. So I like how it has the date and stuff in it, or the month yeah. and the year. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty dope. Yeah, real snug over here. Um. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, I, I need to start doing this because I always forget, and I do it at the end of the show. Make sure if you guys are watching right now, if you are listening to my voice and watch, and looking at Gabe's pretty face right now, oh, go ahead and mm-hmm. like the podcast, like the channel, subscribe, please. And then after you're done watching this, please go ahead and share that, let everybody know. Um, also, we this podcast you can hear on all streaming platforms. If you listen to your podcast on Apple uh, Podcasts, we're there, you know. We, we hey, there. if you listen to all your podcasts on Spotify, we're there. You know, just letting them know. If you listen, if you listen to your uh, podcast on Google Podcaster, we're there. So make sure that you check us out on all the streaming platforms. We are, um, we're. I'm working as of now. While you're watching this, I'm working on getting our whole entire catalog onto all the streaming platforms. Uh, it's taking a while to, you know cut all the video and get the audio right for the pod, uh, for the, the streaming platforms but as of right now you can kind of go I think you can go back as you're watching this you can probably go back all the way to our uh, Last Dance Breakdown podcast uh, okay. we did a three parter on uh, all the shoes from the Last Dance so yeah. make sure you check that out um, I'm, I want to say by the end of the week if not the end of next week uh, you guys will be able to have all the po- um, all the episodes on there to check out and um, Thank be you. able to support. So, with that again, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Show us that you love us. Um, it helps push us up in suggestions for a lot of people that do not watch the show. And for the people that do watch the show, we will end up on your suggested uh, suggested pages, the recommended pages, all that stuff, so people can see our lovely face and get to enjoy us as much as you enjoy us. Uh, so, with that being said, how are you feeling today, Gabe? I'm doing good, man. Uh, this morning, uh, the gardeners were like, oh, you trying to sleep? Nope. <laughs> um, <laughs> but other than that, it was good, you know. Um, good morning. Uh, got my coffee over here. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm here to talk sneakers, bro. Hey, man. You know? Here. We're here. Hey. That's, so, that's what it is. That sounds so weird. That, that sounds like I said, amen. Like, 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 we're, like I'm preaching. Yeah, hey. that was <laughs> like, you, like, yo, you really talking, you really talking right now. I feel that, I feel that spit right now. Yeah. Damn, he's spitting. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, we have some things that we're going to talk about, but mm-hmm. we're going to talk about them very, we're going to tiptoe around them because. Uh, next week, we're going to get really into these topics because, uh, like we said before, uh, we will update you guys with information as it comes. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot that has happened. Mm-hmm. with uh, It continues to happen. Man, every yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, we, I will get into that um, as we get into the topic because we're going to touch on a couple of stuff that we already talked about. Um, but let's... Uh, oh, oh, also, by the way, make sure... If you guys are haven't already, unlaced.family, make sure you check us out. Um, we will have oh, some true. for you guys. Uh, that true. is the website. You can also watch the podcast on unlaced.family. So make sure you do that. All this true. information will be in the bio. Um, over here, there's like a little logo going to be right below me. So if you see that little logo, click on that. That you can subscribe, all that stuff. All that stuff. Anyways. Um, so let's get into the first topic. Um, we got so, we got hella plugged in right now. Yeah, you know I have to I have to start doing that because I can't do it at the end of the show. Yeah, I don't I don't want y'all tuning out before y'all y'all not show us show us some love. True. But yeah, so uh, we have some news about another brand being sued. Well, 
a it's kind of a flip version a big brand is getting sued by a lesser brand even though that brand is also very big tell them yeah okay so walk headline. us to the courtroom right now bro headline yeah you know i got, I got y'all I got my I got my three-piece suit on you okay. know your honor <laughs> untailored your honor, if it pleases the court um, damn StockX so, flipping, sorry, bro, but StockX is flipping PS5s and Xboxes right now. It says, now open for trading. Buy and sell the PS5 and Xbox Series S or X. What do you think people are accepting for those trades right now? Uh, I saw some people uh, having sealed PS5s with an extra controller for like eight dollars $900. Um, Don't say what shoe do you think people are willing to trade for a PS5? I mean, $800, that gets you a... Off whites right there, bro. You I know, you are the, uh, the I don't think I don't think anyone that has the shoe would give it up for the system. But if you sell the system, that's enough money to buy the shoe. So I mean, but there's some there's some desperate people out there that need some uh, winter shoes to. Yeah, uh, and I mean, plus retail is almost retail on the PS5 is the same as resale on the white off white fives. Yeah. So I mean, five hundred. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I guess someone out there probably is doing it or did it already. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Even though I'm going to have to wait for my PS5. Sorry, bro. How, how long is that back order right now? Uh, I haven't even checked. But oh, I, know, well. I know I know that uh, GameStop has, like, a thing where they're, um, they're saying, like, yo, just call them the day before release. Or I guess oh. the 14th or <laughs> GameStop, GameStop is a mess, bro. And so they're because they're they're trying to see if they're gonna get more than just the pre-orders. Yeah. To see if they're gonna have some to sell, and so they're like, "Yo, just call and see." So, but I'm I'm like for me personally, like financial, I can't even do it right now anyway. And I also mm-hmm. want to wait because I heard that there's a lot of there's some issues that they gotta fix with it anyway. So mm-hmm. I'm good. I I can, I can wait for my birthday. Yeah, if it's not, it's my only issue. Sorry, bro, I didn't want to get a major off track and I will wrap right, it up, yeah. right. but um. My only issue is, uh, is if they are cross compatible, mm. not even cross platform, like cross compatible with like the previous gen. Mm. Because like if I'm gonna be the only one of my friends with the fucking Xbox Series X, mm. I don't want it because I'm gonna have no one to play with. I think Xbox is cool is is good with that. I think PlayStation is no. Oh okay, damn! Whole whole new servers, bro. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but yeah, I don't know many people that locked in their their pre-orders, so I might yeah. just pass. A lot, I think a lot because like my one of my homies is the only one out of all of us that got his pre-ordered. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of well. See, he's like he keeps like counting down the days when he's on the party. Like, yeah, so one more week before I don't <laughs> talk to y'all no more. <laughs> like, and so you know, we yeah. just gotta we just gotta wait and wait to see what happens. But I think. Honestly, I think by the end of the year, like we'll mm-hmm. all have a PS5, so it wouldn't even matter. But yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm playing Rocket League most of my time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. But, yeah. but yeah, so uh, Vision Streetwear is okay. suing New Balance over its Jaden Smith collaboration. I read that. Mm-hmm. I didn't get into the specifics as to why, though. Yeah. So looking over, so. I'll give you. I'll give a brief. I'll oh, give a brief. I think I know why now. Yeah. So. Okay. Following the six. Oh, so I'm reading an article that is posted by Hypebeast.com. Uh, shout out to Hypebeast. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, following the successful launch of Jaden Smith's Vision Racer sneaker earlier this year, New Balance is now facing a new lawsuit for its high-profile collaboration. According to the reports, Authentic Brand Group's LLC has filed a complaint with the U.S. District Court. Of the, for the Southern District of New York against the team up. Yeah. Authentic Brand Group is claiming that New Balance is knowingly misleading consumers to believe that Jaden Smith's New Balance Vision Racer sneaker is tied to its Vision Streetwear brands. What was it called again? Authentic yeah. Group. Because oh, they, they started abbreviating their name. Authentic Brand Group claims the Vision and the Vision Streetwear are trademarks of the Vision streetwear which is acquired back in 2017 that have been used as far as back as 1986 going in going on to note that the trademark infringement is part of a higher standard for counterfeiting by intentionally use marks 
that are counterfeit or identical to the substance. Mm. So substantially indistinguishable form by New Balance manufacturer and sell of the Vision Racer sneaker. Okay. So there's and so authentic brand groups is seeking monetary settlement for up to two million dollars US from the prop the profits of the collaboration. And then they and so then so basically and so that has that's how it ends, but um, yeah. so so basically um because if you see the um you'll see it on here because I'll put it on here. Mm-hmm. But uh the the racer itself mm-hmm. has the the word vision. Yeah, at the bottom. The bottom soul. The bottom soul. So um they are saying that the uh, Vision Street where is saying that that logo itself and then also the name Vision Racer or whatever mm-hmm. is my memory is terrible. Why am I saying whatever it's called and I just literally read it? Um uh they're saying that that is misleading consumers to believe that is a collaboration with the streetwear brand when it's not. It is just the name that they that's the name that New Balance gave Jay uh for Jaden well, Smith. Well yeah Jaden Smith doesn't he have an album named Vision? Yeah. Or yeah see so it's not necessarily like they gave it to him. He kinda probably hit the meeting with that. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. So basically, they decided that. So basically, Vision Street Warriors were saying, "Yo, you guys are, you guys are, making it seem like we are doing a collaboration with them. We don't like that, uh, and they are suing them for the basically the profits that were that are made off of the collaboration itself, and including damages and stuff like that. So who knows what that end number it looks like." Um, or if that is the the total altogether, mm-hmm. um, there has not been any uh, there hasn't been anything said back from New Balance about it. Yeah. Um, as of yet, uh, I'm guessing that you know this is different than the Warren situation where New Balance is a big corporation, so they probably are going to file before they make any actions. They're going to wait mm-hmm. because this month they have. Uh, in November, they have another release of a yellow colorway. Yep. Vision Racer. Yep. Uh, James, uh, release. So I don't know if they're going to pause and push that back based off of that, or if they're going to bring, they're going to say, okay, we're still putting out because there has not been any conclusion. Yeah. Or they might just put out because they don't give a fuck. <laughs> True. And That's and feel, and feel like they just have precedence over the entire uh, case, which I mean, to be honest, other than like if if that logo doesn't resemble anything that they have, like their only argument is that their brand name is Vision. Um, what was it? Uh, their clothing, yeah. just oh, Vision. Uh, Vision Streetwear. Vision Streetwear, and then. Yeah. The bottom of the shoe just has vision. Mm-hmm. It's at the bottom of the shoe, first of all. Like no one even sees that. Not one person. So why are you tripping? Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah, I just I just don't see them winning this this in in a, in a in a courtroom. I I I see it as a possibility that it can win. Just mm-hmm. because if they're saying that the because they're saying that the marks. So they're saying that the the way that vision is spelled out. It's like so it'll be just like our our unlaced logo. Yeah. If somebody spells unlaced and a lace and a lace and says, yo, that is unlaced, this is the unlaced podcast or whatever. We can sue them and say, yo, that is you are misleading people to think that that is us. Like if, even though may because we had we have we, we we had this because we sent it to each other the uh, mm-hmm. uh and it's no gripe towards him because he's told something totally different. So I'm not even gonna um don't take this as like a direct shot at him, but the um, unlaced ID dude or IED or something like that guy on YouTube, his low, his low, his cover art on his thing is unlaced ED or ID something and laces, but it's not just unlaced. If it was just unlaced, then we would, yo, hey, mm-hmm. we got an issue. <laughs> it's, you know, but it's not, that is not, that's not what he's doing. And it's not like it's a misleading thing because we do a podcast. He doesn't do a podcast. So mm-hmm. it's it's something totally different. Now, if he just took out because it's like in it's unlaced with a period and then spells out like IED or ED or something like that, 
if he took out that period ed or whatever then okay regardless of how the laces look or whatever then we would have an issue and so i think envision is doing the same thing where it's like yo we have a we have a we have a logo or we have multiple like logos that we use that look similar to this and people are going to look at that and be like oh hey so you guys did a collaboration with Jaden. that's dope when you when you when y'all drop them at the store kind of thing mm-hmm. and they're like no that's not us that's not our thing so they're probably they there would have to be a probable cause for them to believe that there must be some kind of uh some kind of uh Connected, reason yeah. yeah with them with uh with them with new balance and so there's got my no. got my joe exotic got your got your cheetah girls right there. hey <laughs> my raven simone yeah. one time so i i think that they're just they're and because it's not like it's a grievous it's like two million dollars i'm and i'm guessing they're just doing it off of profit itself so I'm, mm-hmm. i would think that they're not trying to like shut down new balance but they're trying to say hey if you're going to do that change the look okay or change the way it's looked because it's not that's not us. I mean, but I guess I guess what I'm trying to say is if if you're gonna sue someone, you would sue Jaden and not New Balance. Well, it's a kind of a collaboration. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't necessarily work for New Balance, so I think they would have to take it up with New Balance because they are. The, but that but that logo, the but isn't that the same logo that he already used on his mixtape? That I don't know. Because if that's the case, then I would say that. Um, let me check. Yeah, Jaden Smith uh, Vision. So all I get is the Vision sneaker. Oh, so it's uh, no, okay. So that's what it is. So it's uh, S Y R E. That's the. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so, sorry, or whatever, double vision poster. And so the, the artwork itself looks similar to the vision that's on the bottom of the shoe. Which Yeah, you're right, you're right. Well, that shoe's ugly, to be honest. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, um, I'm not. I mean, we're talking about it because it's, it's raising legal problems but because we're, we're not we're, talking about it because it's a hot shoe oh no we're talking about it because we um the reason why i brought this up and so this is the main reason i want that to shoe is ugly yeah, it's, it's, it's a nasty shoe um so the reason why i brought it up was what? because i want to talk about the fact that we have are now seeing a kind of like an increase mm-hmm. in legal matters when it comes to brands yeah um I don't blame it. I, I said this before in our previous podcast. Like, I don't blame it because yeah. if you're a brand that is working hard to, you know, that created a, you know, foundation for your your consumer base, yeah, you don't want somebody being able to go in and disrupt all that. Yeah, of course. Because, because of a better name or whatever. Um, we're seeing the same thing with the Warren thing. Warren decides to redesign his shoe. And we'll get into the, the the details of that next week, but he redesigns it, and it's not it's not better. <laughs> yeah, that um, like it's not it's not a better shoe than what he was doing before. For just talking about the redesign, um, I like I like what he tried to do in terms of like um, making it his. Yeah. Like he added the Reaper, which isn't too far off from what his clothing looks like, mm. and then he um, incorporated the Reaper scythe into the into the that that so, panel of the lacing. Yeah, yeah. As, yeah. So it was cool. I like the idea behind it. Um, yeah, but uh, uh, I'm hitting a refund refund option for sure that, and so that's what a lot of people <laughs> did that's that's what a lot of people did a lot of people and so not to get too far into the story but yeah uh, yeah yeah, cause um, I, yeah so warren um so quick update just to give you guys up to uh like up to the point where i want to because i want to uh i want to we'll talk about it yeah. yeah um warren uh 
they so Nike uh, sends a uh, kind of like a cease and desist basically on the current Jeff Staple shoe that he had going on um, pre-orders and says they need to end production on that. He ends production. Uh, well, he uh, first says he's not going to because he wants to figure it out. But then they he, of course, stops production on it. And within 20, 48 hours has this new design of a Reaper. Yeah. For the redesign. So instead and so it takes out the switch completely, but makes the the Reaper and the scythe basically the the new swoosh basically. Mm-hmm. And so he goes and so then pe- customers don't really like it. Well, really don't like it. Don't like the new the new look. And Nike decides to send another suit because of the midsole mm-hmm. on the shoe. So mm-hmm. They at first started, Nike at first did it because of the shoe itself. It's a just staple shoe. And then the Nike still sort of. They did it. They did it more. They did it for all of them, actually. It wasn't just a just staple. Yeah, they, they, they used all of the shoes in, in the lawsuit. Oh, well, I was saying because of like that, that was what caught the. Um, yeah. The first yeah. And so then, so it started off as the whole shoe itself. Now, then they, he does the Reaper one. And they're like, nah, they got really petty with that, nah, bro. Midsole as well. Midsole, mm-hmm. midsole is, is is us is us as well. And that became its own little talking point because he took that personally because now it's now he, then he started going on his page and and circling shoes that had the same kind of midsole or similar to, and then comparison comparison to the uh, the dunk as well as his, and it got like weird. But customers didn't like the new design anyway, so a lot yeah. of people were asking for refunds just as a whole. Like, I don't want the shoe at all. If it's not mm-hmm. the Jeff Safe one that I pre-ordered, or if it's not the, um, what was the one that was uh, being sent uh, at the time? The, the Stussy one? No, the Heineken. The, the, the Heineken was the first one? Was it? Or was it? I don't remember, man. But the Stussy one was also part of that pre-order. They got pre-ordered like a week or two before. Oh, okay. So Those got canceled also. Before, yeah, whichever one was before that, he had to cancel that. And so a lot of people were like, well, I want that one anyway. So if that's if I can't get that, I don't want any of them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he catches some backlash, you know, through, you know, a lot of different things that I'm going to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about next week because it, it gets really weird. And I this is the one thing I hate about the community itself mm-hmm. is – I get the I get the idea of your favorite brand is is trying to protect their 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 products and all that stuff. Get it. Mm-hmm. But when you start when you start getting weird and start like start trying to play, you know, basically Captain Sabaho for a brand that's never gonna like that's not gonna send you a care package because of it. Like you send in death threats to people it's not going to have Nike sending you, you know, exclusive releases every week. Yeah. You don't, you don't win in that sense. But yeah. um, I don't want to really get into that. But either way, um, I think what we're seeing right now is brands are set, are I think Nike is kind of kind of showing the – it's kind of laying the groundwork for it, which Nike does a lot I've seen recently, where Nike does something and then a lot of brands start taking the same approach. And I think this – this uh this suit with Nike and Warren, like this this legal battle with them, has started to have a lot of brands say, "Nah, I'm not. We're, there's no looking past this anymore. We're going to start taking matters into our own hands when it comes to brands that make things that look too similar to our product or our our um, our our logos, mm-hmm. and make sure that we keep it all for ourselves. Because there's so what much real mean? estate. There's so much real estate when it comes to creativity mm-hmm. that there's like understand that yes people have there might be similar mindsets or there might be similar ways to get to a certain end product when it comes to creating a brand but there's so much real estate when it comes to being creative that you shouldn't have something that looks so similar to my brand out there and i think that's what i think and again i'm just assuming i'm thinking that's what vision is assuming is like there's so much there's so many other ways you could have did this. And the fact that the fact that, you know, his album is something complete the name is completely different. And 
there's no reason for vision to be on the shoot if in that mm -hmm. manner if you know if it takes only 10 minutes to figure out that that logo looks like ours mm -hmm. so i'm thinking a lot of brands are saying there should not be no excuse for that and we're not going to sit here and just be like oh yeah cool, it's cool we'll mm -hmm. let we'll let it slide because for somebody like us we wouldn't want somebody to get we wouldn't want somebody to get big off of our name even mm -hmm. though we're a small or smaller brand we wouldn't want somebody to be able to get uh get bigger off our brand just because they have more following or they have more customers yeah because that's not that's not that's not how this works mm -hmm. if you're using something that belongs to us we we have the right to say no you can't profit off of our our work yeah and so i think right now we're sitting, we're starting to enter this weird realm where does this Nike situation, does this this uh, Vision Streetwear situation, does it start to trickle down to like customizers? Like, where does it stop? Um, that's a good question, yo. I think um, that's really what that's where my interest is because for big brands like Nike going after Warren, um. I think if that's the case, you have to go after each and each and every one of them because um, it, Warren. I think, in my opinion, Warren was the was the last one to make an example out of maybe. Yeah. Because if you really look at his shoes, although they were very similar, mm. you can tell that they were just crafted differently. Mm -hmm. The lines of the shoes overall were just off. Mm -hmm. Uh, the proportions were different, mm -hmm. but if you look at every all of these other fucking brands, like there's ten of them that are ripping off the Jordan One, mm -hmm. it's spot on. Like if you made it out of the same unauthorized factory that these fakes are coming out of, mm -hmm. so like uh, it's just as as a consumer, you get frustrated because you want all of them gone and then you look at like one person was the wrong example and then you look at like other people that should have been the example yeah um as a creator you're like maybe you don't know where to go creatively thinking mm -hmm. in your process and uh instances like these two discourage you um and then as a customizer i feel like the customizer gets has no voice at all because they're using a canvas of a shoe. So it's not like they're redesigning the shoe, they're just adding their own colors to it. And then how do you, how do you fight that in court? You know, like, what do you do there? Um, so it's just a weird, weird time. Um, I, I wish it was easier for the little guy to be represented. Do you think, do you think that that plays a role into when it comes to brands like, <clears throat> Like we we were supposed to have Lemonhead on the show um, a few months back, mm -hmm. and we were going to talk about the fact that Jordan um, was releasing shoes that were customs that were done years ago. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that plays a role? I do, because, I do. Because you see, you see customers getting upset about it, and like I would be upset too. And like I started to like side with the customers. Are like that's kind of weird that a shoe looks exactly like something that you you customized years mm -hmm. back, mm -hmm. and they're coming out with it. Mm -hmm. But like you were saying, they don't have a voice because they're using their actual shoe. To create yeah, that. yeah. Do you think that that is the reason why brands are doing that? Because like, yo, you're not you're not going to be able to sue us for it because it's, um, it's our shoe. I think we I think that it. plays a part. I think uh, finances play a part. Um, you know, like uh, some of these guys just won't be able to keep up in court for a day or two or a, f a few days. Like it's just. Um, it's grimy, bro. It's really grimy because you kind of start to think that the system doesn't have something for you. Yeah. Uh, legally, at least. Um, especially if you don't have the finances for it. Yeah. Um, so that's that's a bummer. Uh, what can you do? I really don't know how you how you fix that. Yeah. Um, but overall, I mean, yeah, dude, hell yeah. If if you're customizing, you see something like that. Um, of course, you're gonna be upset, but I mean, does, maybe that just drives you to create more, to create something better. Um, who knows? Who knows? But there's tons of customizers out there that probably feel that way, and I'm sure 
we could get tons of different opinions on how they felt, what they did after shit. Some of them probably stopped because they realized that no matter what they did, no matter how many sales in terms of customs they did, that a company could just take the color away, you know, literally take the color away and then just mass produce it. Um, So I don't know, man, it's a, it's, it's, I think you're right. You know, there's a lot of creative space for everyone to find their outlet. Mm. Um, But not everyone thinks that way. And, and I wish they would because they make it, they make they kind of like get, just give a bad name mm-hmm. to um the i guess the lazy ones give a bad name to the ones that put in the work because the lazy ones tend to be the ones who blow up quicker mm-hmm. um because that's just people and they buy shit that they're used to seeing that's a little bit different for whatever reason instead of yeah. just being different um could you even see like a brand like uh i sent to you uh soul boy Mm-hmm. who is doing the reaper style switch two on the ones mm-hmm. and all i i you know now i'm starting like to just go into comments because i don't I, I don't care for them anyway like i don't like the way they look regardless mm-hmm. but um i go into the comments and everybody's just like oh you're about to get warned <laughs> <laughs> like you're 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 and it's because it's like you're teetering on the same exact like line that he's on yeah and and it, I want I, I would like to preface this by saying like nothing that I'm saying or nothing that me and Gabe are saying are shots at brands. Like, yeah. If you're if you're if you are making a living off of that, hey, get your money. Yeah. All I'm saying is, and you know I don't you know Gabe you can you can speak for yourself or whatever. Uh, but all I'm saying is, it is. It is lazy to do something like that, knowing that the that how quickly you can be wiped off the the earth by a uh, brand. Yeah, and then you end up seeing because I, I take it for example because I didn't mention this when we first started talking about this, but uh, Clear Weather Brand mm-hmm. uh, in uh, Santa Ana, they have their own they they made their own uh, their own sneaker, mm-hmm. and then they had their little their little rain boots and stuff like that, which I still think that brand is dope i still want to get in my hands on a pair of those shoes because mm-hmm. those, those shoes look crazy but like you look at like something like that and you look at um you look at all these other brands that we mentioned that do original shoes and are killing it like just literally like yo it just they see a vision they take it and it's not like oh no we're not going to do something that that's similar to a a jordan one or we're not going to do something that's similar to uh uh, uh, Jordan 11 or something like that or taking panels out of a Jordan or a Nike and putting on their shoe and saying this is our new shoe they're doing completely like something that looks totally different than what is out there Yeah, and are successful at it so you can't tell me that that the Jordan 1 or the Jordan 3 or the Jordan 4 or fucking the, the 11s are are it's hard to create around them because Nike did everything already. Like, no, there's plenty of brands out there that show you every day that they can succeed off. And yes, they're not the size of Nike, but at the same mm-hmm. time, they still are selling out every single time that they drop a shoe. Yeah. So, you know, like you I don't understand how people don't see the the wrong in it. And I'm not I'm not people's daddy. So I'm not gonna tell you that you're <laughs> I'm not telling you that I'm not I'm not trying to like punish anybody for doing what they do that's going to put money in their pocket mm-hmm. but i don't understand how you can sit there and do that and understand and think that yeah i'm going to be able to get through get through this for x amount of years i can be able to do this so i die no warren is the first person he's the first domino that is getting knocked down guarantee all those other ones you're next <laughs> yeah and i'm thinking i'm thinking the only reason why nike hasn't done anything is because it's um it's a jordan silhouette mm-hmm. um and i think they're almost separate enough yeah they're their own entities i believe now mm-hmm. um i had to look at the bottom of a jordan box yeah to see if it still has nike branding on it or nike uh I can check right now cuz I, I just bought yeah it. if it still has uh, nike copyrights or whatever Look at Chris. Look at him. Look at him. 
Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah, Nike Incorporated. Oh okay, yeah. 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 So. Let's see right there. Let's I wonder what their contract is like now. Yeah, but so, but yeah, yeah that I I just think that um maybe that's the reason maybe not maybe I, maybe they haven't hit Nike's radar yet. Um, I'm thinking that there this is probably because I don't remember if Nike has did anything this major when it comes to suing somebody. Yeah, not nah, not nah, it's it, yeah because they didn't sue like they weren't able to take Bape to court. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah, so. So I'm personally thinking that the reason why is that this is the like probably because you're because and I think that this is becoming a trolling thing because I'm starting to see a lot of brands start pushing their shoes now, mm-hmm. like this whole Nike thing and maybe because I've been like looking at Warren's thing so it's probably like algorithm wise pushing more of these brands to the top of my uh, feed on the timeline. Yeah, I'm starting to think I'm starting to increase in people promoting their shoes. I don't know if it's them trying to get their product off before they get <laughs> they get put in the crosshairs. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking the reason why I'm thinking that none, some of these brands haven't been um haven't been hit yet is because of the fact that probably like Jordan brand and like Nike are saying we want to see how this goes. We know we have like we know we have a case with this one. Let's mm-hmm. see what happens, how this and then like I said like I said in the previous episode where it's like they're probably trying to understand, okay, what does, what is, what, where are, where are our, where can we actually take action when it comes to pulling the trigger on suing company, uh, suing these brands and these smaller brands for using our shoe to, and just doing a quick cut and, uh, cut and sew with a new, new swoosh like logo mm-hmm. on a, on a uh, shoe and selling it. Where can, do we, do we have legal action to do this? So yeah. based off of what they're doing with Warren, I'm pretty sure that Soulboy is going to probably be one of those next ones. Yeah. Uh, the uh, I'm pretty sure Vans is probably doing the same thing. Oh, uh, well, not well. Vans, what Vans do it? What do you mean? Oh, uh, with Revenge? No, they didn't. No, I think Revenge just fell off on their own, bro. To be honest. Oh, okay. But yeah, so it's like I'm pretty sure that these brands are sitting there and taking a seat back and say, oh, okay, well, let's see how this goes. Yeah. It's, it'll be it'll be the same as like, uh, it's not it's not like the same, but like, it's the same as like during uh, the off season when quarterbacks are getting their new contracts. Mm-hmm. Most of those quarterbacks wait to see, okay, what's the market at? Who's the first? Like, it's who is the highest because I know I perform higher than this quarterback, so whatever they're getting paid, I'm gonna do higher. So there, there's brands probably sitting back saying, okay, Nike. Let's see what you guys do in court. Let's see how 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 it goes. Mm-hmm. How much how much effort are you guys having to put into it? How much you, how much are you guys willing to prove? And if they win, I could say it's going to be a dark <laughs> winner for a lot of brands because that those those suits are going to be coming out those real fast. Those cease and desist letters are going to be coming. Not us though. Hey, we got to worry about that. Yeah, we ain't, yeah, we ain't, we ain't like that. But um, I, I, I wonder if brands are just waiting to see how this Nike thing plays out first before they do. I don't think anyone is, to be honest, bro. No one. They're all they, all these brands just care about um, the the quick turnaround, the short term. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why they went with those designs. You know, their thought process is already not all the way. Mm-hmm. Um, so if they can't even think past a design, there's no way that they're trying to think past a legal situation. Hell no, bro. They, you you can't tell me that the same person who is not willing to put effort into a design has the same mental capacity to try and think out a legal situation. Oh no, no, I'm saying the brand. I'm saying the like not like Nike. Oh, Jordan. I'm saying there's waiting to see how this Nike would warn thing plays out. And then if that plays out the way that they expect it to, mm-hmm. that they're going to start going after these soul boys and all these different brands saying, "Yo, nah, okay, we're 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 going to do a, we're going to do a sweep mm. and, and get a lot of these off the street." Not and they may not take it to the same extent as Warren, but mm-hmm. enough to where it's like this shoe is not going to happen. You owe yeah. us, or you need to take these off the site or whatever. Well, they are. They, I think it's just time wasted if they're waiting um because all it allows is that product to hit the streets quicker and more of it 
Um, so, I mean, if they're going to do it, they should do it now. If they're not going to do it, then they're probably not going to do it. But, I mean, who knows? Six months from now, there might be a, a bigger su- success story, a bigger Warren, and then that might be the new example. So, we'll see. And, that, and that's that's the one thing, because, like, we have, like, like, and no, there's no shot at Jeff Staple, but you have Jeff Staple, you know, trying to cap for Warren. And well, I mean, I thought I that hate. was for the Warren episode, bro. Like, come uh, on, bro. I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say much, but I'm just saying, like, um, you out here, you out here. And then you got Warren reposting it, like, yeah, if it meant, like, like if it on. meant something. Like, that uh, was ab- like you, you posted something that literally was not your situation <laughs> at all, like. <laughs> <laughs> like what you, you thought you was getting sympathy? Nah, yeah, bro. Nah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, just it's I'll, it's that's that that face right there was to both Jeff in that clip and to Warren, but mainly to Jeff, but also to Warren. I don't know, man. It's, that's that's crazy. I can't wait for that episode, y'all. Y'all y'all gonna get sneaker a Gabe for that one. Oh man, that that I I can't yeah I really can't wait for that because I really want to because that that episode's most likely gonna it's just gonna be most of just that so you know y'all bring mm-hmm. y'all three-piece suits yeah uh, bring your coffee bring the popcorn we might get some popcorn we're gonna, yeah. we gonna talk you know so yeah um but yeah so uh when we get more information on the new balance uh mm-hmm. jay smith versus vision street where uh suit once we get more information we will definitely uh bring it up here because we have nothing better to do but to talk about sneakers and and, these and lawsuits yeah, sneakers and exactly, lawsuits right exactly so um next on the list uh what Apple's. up what up yeah and you big yeah so it was announced uh last week I think it was yeah Thursday or something like that um that uh Atmos and Ubik are going to be merging and I so I don't know. So if you guys remember the the Atmos episode we did, uh, I think it was like episode seventeen, I think uh, we talked about them uh, and putting shoes, uh, putting inventory up on StockX or was it StockX or Goat? I think it was StockX. Oh damn! What happened? Um, I thought Ubik may have owned Uniqlo, but they're two separate companies. Hmm. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, so, so basically, so story-wise, uh, these two brands are going to be, uh, Did you just different. fucking, I'm um, sorry, bro. Were you eating? <laughs> Oh, I was chewing on ice. Uh, like, <laughs> He's chewing on ice. <laughs> oh, oh, my um, God. <laughs> <laughs> he got um, all the flavor in that one. So, so basically, uh, the whole story is Atmos and Ubik are going to be merging uh, to uh, basically help their uh, U.S. Uh, presence in New York because mm-hmm. Atmos' store is in New York. Uh, and you will be helping out with them and merging them together. The companies basically merge their U.S. brands together uh, be, and to help bring their Japanese experience, uh, Japan uh, storefront experience to the U.S. Um, because if you remember our, our, pre- our, not our previous episode, but uh, episode 17 or 18, I can't remember, uh, uh, we talked about Atmos and we talked about their, <clears throat> well, we didn't get much into it, but uh, there was there was talks about uh, about the discrepancy in pay when it came to uh, people of color mm-hmm. at their store, as mm-hmm. well as them posting um, posting uh, inventory on uh, resale mm-hmm. on resale uh, resale markets mm-hmm. and so our websites and so they have been they have been getting a lot of backlash from that from a lot of the C community. And a lot of them were talking about their customer service when it came to the New York store. Yeah. And, stuff. and so they weren't necessarily getting as much. Um, they weren't really winning when it came to their U.S. presence. And a yeah. lot of people said that their, their, their best customer service came from the Japan store. Um, and so from what it looks like is 
uh, Ubik is merging with Atmos for the U.S. Uh, storefronts to help them uh, to help them better, you know, integrate with the U.S. Market? Uh, markets okay. and everything like that. And so with that uh, with that partnership, they said that they would be bringing uh, uh, product and open when stores open that there will be a lot more uh, a lot more uh, inventory being put up uh, and brought at the at the grand opening i would say or a grand announcement of the of the uh of the store and so <clears throat> my only question about this so mm-hmm. why i ask is because we talked about this before and mm-hmm. um this is i guess a unique update on it because i'm it was uh i don't know ubic like that so I don't, I don't at know most ubic. at most tokyo sells ubics they do yeah, I'm on their website right now. Okay. So yeah, so what I was told was they were bringing products to USA to the US as well to the store to help them, you know, get more. Because I'm guessing from this, I'm guessing that they were not winning when it came to the US market. Um, and so this is kind of going to help boost their their reputation. And yeah, this sales. This looks like a another um company similar to similar to Uniqlo. Mm-hmm. um in in japanese fashion mm-hmm. which which uh uh which uh if um i i think japanese fashion is my favorite uh sense of fashion bro mm-hmm. uh, if if uh if sneaker a gabe was like 30 pounds lighter bro Man, I'd be, I'd be in, I'd be in the young, the yeah, young, be the I'd be in, I'd be in the slim Japanese you fashion, bro. Yeah. Bro, I, I fucks with Japanese fashion so much. Like all the time that I see videos like in Japan, like just even car videos for whatever. And you just see people in the background. I'd be like, bro, that's a fit, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> that, I'd be, man, it's fire. But yeah, bro, uh, that's that. <laughs> That that's what you Ubix is looking or shaping up to look like. Okay. Um, so the only question I have for this, um, I, I don't really want to get too much into it. Is uh, do yeah. you think that this would help? This will help in the long run for Atmos's uh image. Um, when it comes to U.S. market. Oh, fuck out of stock. Sorry, bro. I got a I got a link sent to me to buy something. A restock and is out of stock. Um. But at most, to be honest, I don't really even know a lot of people that are fans of the brand that wear the brand um, outside of the outside of the Nike collapse. Mm. So, do I know people who feel personally affected by, or or not even personally affected, but who have changed their opinion on the fuck was that? Sorry, bro. I think Somebody I just got a, did. I got a package. No, nah, I got a package. I think I just threw it at the door. Those bastards. But um, so I just throw shit at the door now. Yeah, yeah. But um, usually they they see me. They'll see me. They just like they'll wave it because I'm always working on the computer. And they'll just wave it and they'll leave it there. But um, that's a new dude. He said, "Nah, fuck you." Yeah, he said, "I'm trying to get the fuck out of here." It's almost lunchtime. <laughs> but um, yeah, I personally don't. Ha- I don't know anyone who um really fucks the brand like that outside of the club. So um, I don't really think that their um, public opinion has changed much on the brand um, because truthfully, not probably not many people have seen that video okay. and probably know the extent of it and what was really happening. Mm. So I think this just allows them to almost put that under the rug if people even are still talking about it. Okay. You know, it's not more so. It's not necessarily to cover it up, but it's just to move past, mm-hmm. and, and, and that's kind of what I feel it, it is. Um, and I mean, it looks like they have good relations already in Japan. I mean, they're both from that there, so um, yeah, I, I think it's a work. It'll work for them, mm. uh, but I don't think it's necessarily something that's being done to. Uh, cover up what what we think happened because mm. till this day there hasn't really been anything more from that nope. um so i mean you and i try to dive into it but i think no one else did 
nobody cares. <laughs> nobody gives a shit. So, you know, that's... <laughs> yeah, nobody and those, cares. And those are the topics that, like, have to stay alive um, yeah. for the right people to hear because um, those are the things that make it discouraging, bro, to be in this game. Like, those are the yeah. things that, that keep you from wanting to enter the next raffle, that keep you from even wanting to think you like a shoe because there's just so much out there that is grimy and that's a perfect example and then to even add to it now that same company has a collab coming up you know so it's just it's just a cycle of like not caring um that sucks because people like us everyday consumers see it and we would wish that someone would react upon it but no one does so yeah. it is what it is because then because like like you mentioned like because we've had we've been like I hate to beat a dead horse because we have this conversation damn mm-hmm. what every other episode about mm-hmm. uh, about blogs not because even the way the story was written it was just saying yeah so uh they just want to they just want to help atmos's image in the u.s mm-hmm. and the in the story mm-hmm. not diving into any you know and like again allegations so you know nothing like even though there was recordings of it there's a lot of uh, ex employees that were talking about it and making comments about it and and showing proof on it, mm-hmm. but none of these blogs like are like, yo, let's read into this, let's figure out mm-hmm. more information to have a a, a well rounded story about this. Yeah, and like you said, like when it comes like because what happens is, so Amos has a collaboration coming up with Nike, if I'm not mistaken. You have another one? I think so. Unless I was reading, unless I was reading me, something that was. Uh, that let me look it up right now. It might already happen then, if that's the case. Um, but you have some, you have, you have, you have a collaboration happen with Nike, one of the biggest brands, and so people are going to automatically gravitate to her, towards it because now is the age of collaboration. So a lot of people are are getting those. Mm-hmm. Say this story comes out, nobody talks about it, and then it just something it happens again on a bigger scale then you're going to have this jump out. And so then people are going to be like, yo, well, this happened before. Why didn't I know about this? And mm-hmm. they're going to have cancel culture come in and try to cancel everything and say like, oh, I don't, I don't fuck with Atmos anymore, all this stuff. And it's like, well, we could have prevented this if this was talked about six months ago or uh, talked about this when it first happened and had an actual conversation about it to say, okay, hey, this is, this is how these brands are operating. We should keep an eye on this. There are, there are people out there saying that this brand is operating foully in the U.S. and are not taking the U.S. market seriously. But you guys are just, well, next collaboration. Oh, I'm thinking probably it already happened then. Because we talked the about Nike this. one? Yeah, because when we talked about this one, this I think this had happened. When did we talk about We talked about this a few months ago. Yeah, I don't think they have anything uh, coming up right now. Then it was probably the past one, yeah. Mm. Oh, they do actually. Oh, they do. They do. Um. Uh. Well, I don't know if it's it's official or unofficial, mm. but they have the Atmos elephant dunks. Remember? Oh yeah, that's oh that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. 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 Um, I think it's unofficial, but I, I think heard, yeah, I, heard I think it's just yeah. code. Yeah. Um. Which, oh my God, I need those Atmos threes, bro. Before, before they cost me three rack. Oh my God, they're at one point five. When did this happen? That collaborate, that merger. Oh <laughs> my Lord, that merger. The lowest asking price is one one point three, mm. but the highest bid is five. So, oh, uh, what the? Get your, get your Xbox in there. Oh, I'm about to hit up <laughs> eBay right now, bro. But yeah, um, Atmos, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like so say so say that say that is uh, it's a true statement where there's yeah. that uh, the elephant uh, low is going to be uh, is kind of what happens to the fears of what happens when people complain that yo this didn't release at this store or there was three that were available at the store and it was like oh well they do have a history of putting their stuff on on aftermarket websites Mm -hmm. and nobody wants to talk about it and nobody knew about it so it was never something that was on the radar what happens then why 
if we could have easily talked about this before, we would have we would have seen this coming and been able to say, hey, yo, they 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 deal. They, They've been fucked up. They, yeah, they act funny <laughs> with yeah. the releases. So it's, you know, it's I don't know where were y'all then? Yeah, so I I just think there's at some point there has to be like an accountability and like I hope that you know there are there are people out there you know talking like I hope we're not the only ones talking about it uh-huh. and skeptical of it like mm-hmm. yo what does this but for mean? good reason too yeah. you know we're not we're not I I go ahead bro I'm sorry no no you're good I like I don't think I don't like and I and I don't think we've come off as like we hate everything that happens yeah like I. Me personally, like, and, I, and I tell you this all the time, Gabe, and I, I think I've said this on shows, like, this, when I decide on what we're going to talk about on the show, it's not, like, it doesn't always have to be negative, but it's stuff mm-hmm. that I know that is not going to be talked about. Yeah. That's why I'll talk about the Kobe Pro shows later on in the show, because, yeah, that, that's great. It's good to know that we're getting, you know, two more, you know, two more colorways. That's awesome. But I'm not, I'm not going to, if well, there's actual stories going on and there's actual things happening, in a culture that should be talked about more and should be like, yo, this is what's going on. Just mm-hmm. let you guys know. Like you would want you would want to know. Like you want to know 100%. about like you want to like I would want to know. Like I I don't care just about shoes. Like if if you're telling me that a sweatshop makes my makes my uh my Jordan fives, like I would want to know about it. I mean we kind of already know that that's the case. <laughs> yeah I mean you know I mean... You know, oh my gosh! Which is um, still a lot of people don't know that, but it's like, uh, or want to accept or want that, to accept or that look in that direction. Yeah. yeah. So I think a lot of I think a lot of things have to have like I think conversations like this have to be said, and if we have to be the only ones that have the conversation, hey, fuck it, hey, I'm bro. gonna have it. If you guys don't, if you guys want to hear us, you know, drool over releases for an hour, two hours, not gonna happen. I, I want to talk about shit that's actually going on. Like, I want to talk yeah. about this war Because this war situation itself is a very interesting thing because this is going to set the landscape for a lot of things in the it coming is. years. Yeah, it definitely will. People don't understand that because there are so many people that are trying to create a brand and are trying to create things because we have so much time to create our things. Like, even now, with this whole pandemic, it's like that, it's giving me nothing but time to work on trying to make this show a better thing making this yeah. brand a better thing yeah we both we both continuously work to try to make everything that you guys see from us better i guarantee you that there's a probably a house down for me there's probably a kid wanting to create his own brand and is trying to figure out how to do that but if he can't if he if he doesn't understand that yo if he doesn't know that that nike is suing a a, a dude for for slightly changing changing us uh 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 a logo on a Nike shoe, then, and he decides to do the same thing and ends up getting sued for it, and it destroys his whole entire aspirations of creating a brand. You know that whose fault? That's our fault as a community because we sh- he should have known that this was going on if this was his passion, if yeah. this is your hobby, if this is what you're into. You should know because at the end of the day, once so whoever has a worn uh Lotus uh shoe already. I'm pretty sure that shit is probably going to be hella expensive now to get. I want to know if that shoe came out. I'm going to search the hashtags on oh, Instagram. Yeah. Like I'm pretty like I'm pretty sure that if you have the original uh the original shoe that he dropped already, I'm pretty sure the way this thing community works, I'm pretty sure that you could probably get a good amount of change for that shoe. Because a lot of people are going to want it. But if you if you now if you're getting the Reaper, that changed the whole that changed the whole market because now nobody wants the Reaper. You know, not mm-hmm. saying you know that nobody wants it because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that want it, but for the most part, a lot of people don't like that. They like their original, and that's how the the sneaker community works. Yo. Oh man. yeah. So I'm sorry, bro. No, you're good. Go ahead. But it looks like yeah, yeah. Some of them did come out. So the Heineken came out. Okay. And the and the the Jason Voorhees low came out. Oh okay. So this one came out, which is not bad, and then uh, the Heineken, which this guy's selling for five hundred. Yeah, and, I'm and pretty, re- I'm, yeah. retail was three fifty. So you know, there you go. Price yeah. is only going to go up. And so, like, you would want to know some. You would want to know these things because that you know that's valuable information. So I, I'm, I hope that if anybody is watching and any new viewers that are watching. <laughs> Yo, look at, look at this, bro. There's actually accounts that are trying to gauge the resale of this shoe. 
you know how you know how there's accounts that say like, oh, okay, this Jordan one yeah. will be That's like sweet. three, yeah. yeah. But that shoe's not dropping though, bro. Well, see, so this is very misleading because this account, and I can see why this would drive Nike to sue more. Yeah, this account literally calls the Warren Lotto shoe the Nike Dunk Low Jason Voorhees. And it actually and it actually tags him as a collab, like him x Nike. Wow. Yeah, you see. So like, I I mean, I guess. Yeah. I I see where they where Nike can come from yeah, to Nike, be like yeah no nah, we we didn't work with him we didn't cut him a check <laughs> yeah he was he was in the war room creating this. okay I can see that now yeah. but mm. so yeah it's I I just you know I I would hope that you know as time goes on we are more willing to have these you know conversations uh I'm hoping more people are willing to have this conversation because oh know, hmm. so, oh what happened I just came across a website. That apparently is the website that is literally just plug and play for the Air Jordan One silhouette, and they make it. What? Yeah. So I'll send it to you right now, bro. Okay. We won't even get into this yeah, right now. Yeah. We won't even get into this right yeah. now. But here you go. I just sent it to you right now. Yeah. Anyways, bro. That's the, that we can we can say that one for the next episode because I think it'll go all all together one in one. Hey, bro, it's there. Twenty seven ninety nine. Plug and play, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, what the? F- yo, and the funny thing is that gif is the funniest thing ever because that is really like yo what. Oh, hold on, research- sorry, yo. What happened? You're, you're, you know, because, because, uh, the, we got to move our cars. Are you moving your car right now? Hey, Dad, you want me to move your car? To down there? And you're going to walk up? I'll oh, so. uh, I'll figure it out right now. I know. Um, yeah, bro. Uh, I might have to uh, move my car right now. Oh yeah. For uh, street sweeping. I might do this for research purposes. Yeah. <laughs> for a lace, research purposes. I like, yeah, you know. Anyone can do it. <laughs> um. Okay. So if you want to, I'm gonna. I'll take a quick break. Yeah. Do I'm thing. gonna go move that. Do you see that Sonic one? <laughs> it's in the. It. It's in the middle. It looks like an Air Force. Oh, one. yeah. Yeah, it looks like a vape. That's funny. That's really funny. Wow, bro. And it proceeds the very next snap to Black Friday. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Bro, I really, 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 really want to buy gets order uh, a bunch of those uh, ones. Because it looks like it's like group. So from one to 49 pair. For twenty seven. Oh man, get us our, get us a couple pair for ourselves. Some unlaced, mm-hmm. some unlaced I'm, ones. I'm not wearing that, bro. Bro, I'm not wearing that. You not doing it for uh for, uh, for oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh no. Agenda's gonna be nice. <laughs> I yeah. kind of forgot about that, but oh, agenda's well, gonna God. be nice. That's oh my lord. Funny. I really for for literally just for research purposes, I do want to order a pair. I don't even want to put a logo on. I just want to see what they look like in person. I feel like, yo oh man, yeah. There's a there's a lot there's a lot to break down, but um, yeah. So I forgot what we were talking about, but whatever. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, well, I just sent you the those ones. Oh yeah, yeah. So research for, uh, for research purposes, I do want to. Yeah, I'll, and then we'll go in more detail next week. Yeah. Never but what that. the hell? I really, I really want those. I really, I really want to get a pair just to, just to have to see. That's crazy. People really. <laughs> hey, when you see a market for it. 
the one thing people are gonna find is a way to uh, profit off of it, and I love it. Always, always, of course, but like, dog, come that's, on, that's wild. Like, <sighs> like we that's found our way in. That was quick. Man. Not even wanting to, but uh, I guess we'll be in the market as well. Man. But the unlaced AJ one. <laughs> the unlaced AJ one. Colla- and we're gonna tag Nike it as a collaboration. True, true. We're gonna yeah, be on they- the map. They ain't gonna sue us. <laughs> they, 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 they invited, they invited us to the, uh, to the, to the table. True. Right. Damn, the homie got the blender going on. Damn, homie. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so. Got through all that. Uh, let's get to these uh, these updates, uh, these weekly news updates. So, uh, first on our list, uh, announcement: new Kobe Pro Tros, uh, the 3D Laker colorway and the Orange County colorway, the... added to, uh, to a 2021 release. The Orange County are it's a retro, right? Yeah. And then the LA one is the new colorway, or is that? No, that's the old one. It was on the Kobe Sixes. Both were Kobe Six colorways. Oh, I remember that now. The yeah. LA 3D. Now I remember. Yeah. Now I remember. So Same thing as the 3D pair, but just yeah. fucking yeah. Okay. So the, the it says that the uh, the 3D pair has a fall 2021 release. Yeah. And the Orange County just says 2021 2021 release. Damn, that's crazy. The LA 3D on Goat right now is six hundred and fifty dollars. The uh the first drop at least yeah that's crazy damn these are five fifty yeah I remember I got the homie a pair of of uh, rice Kobe six rice oh I had a pair of those for like two hundo DS now they're five fifty damn that color is gas I I have so many Kobe sixes I'm not gonna get rid of just because I don't want to. To be honest, I really like the Kobe Six, but it wasn't my most favorite Kobe. The Kobe Six are my favorite colorway. Um, I mean the, the Kobe Six, the Kobe Six Dark Knight, mm, mm-hmm. fire. Mm-hmm. But I think the Kobe Five is my favorite silhouette. Okay. Uh, four would be my second, and six might be my third. I. So I, I, mine's kind of weird. I like. What is the Kobe Seven? I forgot that one looks like. It's the one that has like. Oh yeah, that's my least favorite one. What? I what? The Kobe Seven. That's my the number Kobe, two. The Kobe Seven. I think uh, it's just the way they felt on feet for me. They weren't. Was it because of the uh, the little uh, inseam, the little sock thing that they put in there? Well, I got rid of that. Um. I don't know what it was, to be honest. I just didn't like the overall, like, flexibility of the shoe. Oh, it's very unforgiving, yeah. Yeah, I, it, it wasn't it wasn't one that just broke in. Yeah. It, it, yeah, I didn't really like it. But it has some fire colorways. I mean, the Kobe 7 Galaxy, I mean, a fire, the Cheetah. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the Christmas one. I like the Christmas ones, too. I don't know why. Uh, what else we got? There's some good colorways, but yeah, not nah, nah. Nah. nah, nah. I think I like the eight more than the seven, to be honest. I don't really like the eight like that. Uh, I had the best eights too, and I got rid of them. Ugh, like a bozo. <laughs> Man, I want to. I want to do like a. I want to do a segment where, where we just. I sit down and ask you about all the different shoes, and you tell me a time where you had the shoe, and then uh, biggest sold regret it, sold it for, <laughs> for way less than what it's worth now. <laughs> I probably have at least like ten of those stories, bro. See? Like at least ten, and that shit's whack because it's not even like fractional differences, bro. It's like hundreds of dollars of difference that I'm just not going to spend to rehab that shoe yeah. again. <sighs> Heavy sigh. Heavy sigh. All right, bro. But let's get it. What's next, oh, yeah. bro? Well, no, yeah. Uh, your thoughts on it? On the Kobe's? Yeah. Uh, um, looking, I mean, looking forward to them? I, I like the Kobe's. Uh, I'd give them a. I, I'm not looking forward to them in the sense that I'm not looking to buy them. Mm. Um, but I mean, 
I think everyone can appreciate some Kobe's right now, you know. Okay. So uh, it, it's good. It's good for the uh, the game, yeah. the culture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I really want to see. Uh, I really want to see what they look like when they they uh, go through them on uh, uh, next year. Uh, next on list, uh, Naima Ahsoka. Uh, she gets her collab with the Nike Blazer mid. Uh, oh, shit. Nice. I'm not, I'm not going to even try. I really don't even want to try. How do you say this? I'm look, I'm waiting on you, bro. How do you oh, say no. what? The uh, Her collab. The, I the Because I've never said it. Uh, in, I, actually, <laughs> I've never actually said it out loud. <laughs> you look at my notes, right? Yeah, I'm looking at your notes and I'm laughing because, yeah, um, I don't see it. Has she been a week Oh, yeah. Week oh, week. she's getting a, a Comme des Garçons. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I wasn't gonna try it because I'm not gonna act like I know. I, 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 I never. Uh, I haven't even seen this. Let me look. Oh it yeah. Up right so, now. so they announced because that, that sounds fire, bro. Yeah. So I'll have it on here so you guys can see, of course, but. Literally before we started shooting, we're shooting on Monday. They just announced that the official pictures that they have showed for the collab are the official pictures of the collab. So it wasn't. It was speculated that that's what it looked like, but there was it wasn't confirmed. And so Is it the all black joints? Nah, white. Uh. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. No. Okay. Yeah. This is a 2015 collab. Never mind. Oh, here you go. Here I found it. I found it. Found it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sign me yeah. the fuck up, please. Yeah. So, uh, please, 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 oh, please, I'm, please. I want to say congratulations, but uh, uh, shout out Naomi Osaka. You know. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Yo. Uh, what? Yeah. These are fire, bro. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you know why Gabe is, you know, drooling at the mouth, uh, our last episode last week, uh, mm-hmm. we did our Beat the Hype, and Gabe's selection was the Nike Blazers uh, mm-hmm. with, uh, as a sleeper pick for a lot mm-hmm. of people that should check out. And I thought it was fit. I thought it was great timing, too, because when they announced this, it was like a couple of days after we had shot the podcast mm-hmm. um, that she was getting the collab. So I was like, that's really cool. I'm, I'm, I thought that you would already have saw him. Mm-hmm. But even though when they had first announced it, the pictures that they show of that shoe, they said weren't the official pictures. They didn't know if that was going to officially what it was going to look like. Um, and I guess that is the official. That's the that official shoe one. is so, yeah. hot magma, bro. Yeah. So um, congratulations to Naomi. Uh, shout <clears> out. Uh, she, uh, she just uh, won the Wimbledon, I believe, or U.S. Open. I think it was the U.S. I don't know, bro. I'm not going to. Uh, I think it was the U.S. Open. Hold on. Because I li- we were literally talking about this on uh, on the. We were, talk- we were talking about this literally on the podcast when it happened the day before. She's, but, um, the, uh, she's the. She's uh... the. Yeah. The U.S. Open, yeah. US She's Open. the reigning U.S. Yeah. Open champion. So she had just won that, like, I want to say like a month ago. Um, so shout her out. Uh, glad that she got a collab. Looks dope. It looks – it's a three-way collab, first of all, y'all. Like, it's not just her and Nike. It's her, Nike, and CDG, um, which is nice. I uh, That's a nice uh, collab right there. Yeah. So I'm – I'll take your thoughts if you like it. Uh, ten like out of it. ten, bro. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I like to see. I, I hope. I, I hope we see more from her because I know she was really into shoes um, and everything. So I really want to see. Like to see a lot more Nike collabs come from her. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would. You know what I really want to see, and you know this is just because I know she. Did the, so if you guys didn't watch the U.S. Open throughout the U.S. Open, uh, they had their own little bubble that they had going on as well, and. For every every game, she wore a Kobe jersey, hmm. or not every match, but like she always had a Kobe jersey on or some sort of Kobe something on throughout 
throughout the whole entire U.S. Open tournament. Um, so I would hope to see a, a Kobe collab. I don't know if that would actually happen. That'd be wild, bro. But a woman, a see. woman's Kobe collab at that. Yeah, I would want to. I would. I would think that'd be cool. I think that like uh, showing how much uh, how much love she uh, showed to Kobe throughout her run. Mm-hmm. I think that would be really cool. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Nike is doesn't have that on the board, like with the her or like LeBron or you know something like that. So I wouldn't be surprised, but I would think that that'd be cool. See in the future. Yeah, or you know what'd be really really cool mm-hmm. is if they had a uh, uh, Naomi um, Serena collab. Oh, that would be fire. Cause they're both Nike athletes. Yes, they are. Um, I mean, and, and then Serena got her own uh, off-white collab, almost um, officially, unofficially. Yeah. However, you want to look at it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, and if with Naomi already having the, uh, um, already having um, this this Blazer collab with CDG, like out, out the gate already, like top tier, you know? Yeah. So so yeah, possibly they're endless. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully we see more from her. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to her. Um, okay. So, uh, oh, quick thoughts. Talk uh, to them I, nice, bro. Uh, quick thoughts. I wanted to get your thoughts on because uh, I we you know we just got more official pictures from uh, from it. Uh, but the uh, Air Jordan One High OG University Blue. Mm. Okay. So you want my quick thought on this yeah. shoe? Yeah. Quick thought, uh, this shoe used to be my grail growing up mm-hmm. um, when I was a young sneaker, sneaker Gabe. Mm-hmm. Um, the 2001 Coach JP retros were always my grails uh, yeah. because they were Coach JP, meaning back then at least, they, it, that really was like a Japan-only thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so the 2001 retros are all Japan exclusives, um, and... The difference between the Co JP and the stateside releases was uh, uh, we got the mids, Japan got the highs, mm. um, and that in itself just added like this whole like fucking you know thing to that to those retros, mm. um, and they came with the Jordan uh, metal hang tag and everything. Mm. So the blue pair specifically was my favorite out of all of them. Mm. Um, second place was the silver pair. Um, so I really, really liked that colorway, that shoe. This retro in particular, though, um, I don't like it simply because, in my opinion, the silver one was done better and more truthful to the 2001. Um, so then with the blue one, um, I didn't like the, the quality of it, at least from photos. Um, the blue looks a little, uh, like, light, not like colorway light, but like I think it's the material that makes it look lighter than it is. Mm. Um, so overall, I'm just not content with how it looks. Okay. Um, it looks just a, like a shade or two lighter. Mm. The silver looks like a shade so more shiny, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, I'm not. I, I give it like a, a solid, a strong seven, seven and a half as a retro. Okay. Um, but I'm. I didn't like it as as much as I thought I would. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's okay though, man. You know. I like I like it. I might I might um I might I might you know I I have I only have one one, so I might that might be because university uh university blue is my is one of my favorite colors too, and I like that colorway on Jordan, so I might you know add that to the to the one collection that I'm starting. I'm on your Wait, hold ass, on, bro. Wait. <laughs> I'm on your ass with my, with my one. Um, um, are we are we talking about the same retro? Because the University Blue is next year's retro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are we talking about that one? Because are we talking about the Co JP retro? No, oh, we're no. talking about man. I'm tripping balls, bro. I really was. Th- I thought we were talking about the Co JP. Oh no. Um. Oh yeah, because you were talking about silk. Yeah, no, no. No, my bad. My bad. I, I went on a tangent on oh, the no, code JP. Because that university booze next year's release. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I thought we were a little we we're a little ahead. Yeah. Um no, we're I, talk, we're I like the University Blue. 
I like the I like the University of Blue. Um, I think uh, uh, JB has been doing really good with blue colorways in general. Um, they hit it out the park with uh, the Obsidian Blues, both both women and fem- women and male colorways. Mm. Uh, they did the uh, the NC to Shy and the UNC to Shy. Mm-hmm. Um, both of those did really well. The w- men's pair is one of those stories that I can say I let go for retail and is no longer retail anymore. So, um, what other blue ones did they drop this year? And I guess that's it, right? In the Co JPs, um, I think that's it. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, yeah, I, I think I, I, they, they did really well with the, with blue. So the University Blue is also another one that can be added to that group of of good blue retros, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll get more into that uh, as time gets closer and closer to that release. Uh, just quick thoughts. Um, now uh, we will go into we'll get into gas or pass. Yep. Um, so let me pull that up for everybody to see real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have a couple. Uh, we're going to start on the 10th. Uh, let me get my share screen going real quick. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, uh, shout to uh, I, don't, I don't always I always never uh, shout them up, but shout out to Kicks on Fire uh, for there's this is no partnership yeah. or anything like that. But shout Kicks on Fire for, tends to be our our yeah that's where we go to get our uh, releases and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, November tenth, uh, Nike Dunk Low Veneer twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Thoughts. Um. So is there a reason why that. we? Is there a reason why they call this shoe veneer? Uh, to my knowledge, no, I don't have. Uh, is it any of the co- uh veneers? What the uh, veneers? The uh, is the brown. I'm assuming them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, it's cool. Oh yeah, it says right here. Yeah, so the SP Dunk SP Veneer 2020 is a reissued version of the original Nike Dunk Low veneer from the 20. 20- 2001 Nike Duck Ugly Duckling Pack, as expected as the retro Donald's of Premier OG color scheme of the mm. on a green and deep purple. It's Close cool, color, I guess. Color, yeah. It's an all right sneaker. Uh, I like the I like the materials that go into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it being a suede shoe gives like a better. I think it makes the colors work better together. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a fan of this one. I mean, I'm a fan, but it's not something I need. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I like the colorways. Um. I have to, I would have to look at the ugly duckling pack to see. Like, yeah. Kind of, like the comparisons of it. Yeah. This I is 100 like, percent uh teenage mutant ninja turtles for sure. Yeah. I I like it. I li- I like the look of it. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not opposed to it. So. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So retail for is a hundred dollars. Uh. These come out on Tuesday. So I apologize because we're shooting this on Monday. So. This, these will already have come out by the time yeah. you see this because I'm pretty sure it's going to be out on Wednesday. Yeah. So um, when you guys see this, it'll be Wednesday when this is out, but they came out yesterday. <laughs> uh, so make sure you guys... Resale, uh, resale is probably going to be like $300. Yeah. Um, or less. If, if, you can, if you can find a little... Uh, I'm pretty sure if you can find like a little skate shop somewhere that's uh, still doing uh, releases like that, you can probably get these... Uh, I would say definitely like Gabe. Gabe has uh, talked about in the other podcast, like being able to just know know a couple spots in the cut that may not get as much attention. That you mm-hmm. get like a couple pair in inventory, so you can yeah. Be able to sneak. You might you might you might be able to get these for retail on a still. And I don't even know if those are like even possible to find. <laughs> yeah, so. Now now nowadays. Yeah. That's that board shop on uh in uh and uh and uh. Arcadia, over down by the bowling alley, down uh, Baldwin. Bro, that is like everyone's spot now, and that's like that's like three hundred people on a release day type spot. Uh, y'all, y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all here took the spot. Yeah, Yo, y'all trash. Y'all yeah. trash. Uh-uh, I don't like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're on to the next one. This, uh, these will come out. So these are November eleventh. Uh, yeah, November eleventh. Uh, coming out Wednesday, so when you see these, these will have already dropped uh, this morning. Uh, the Nike SB Dunk Low Elephant. Mm-hmm. Thoughts? Um, Pass. I, I like the shoe. 
Um, looking at the shoe right now like this, what bothers me <laughs> on the build itself is that every panel is black minus the toe box. Mm. So when I just look at it, it, um, it makes the toe box stand out. Like I can't unsee that anymore. Yeah. Like, uh, if you use the front, you see, if you use this first picture, that picture, every panel is black, but the, but the toe box, mm. Um, so that just like, I wish there was white elsewhere, maybe like on the, the panel, um, right under the, the liner where on the back end, mm. I don't know. I think some more white would balance this shoe better. Uh, but I like it. I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm nitpicking, but I like the shoe. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for it. Of course. Um, I'm probably not going to get it. Of course. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, I dig it. I, it's a it's a good Atmos colorway, yeah. with what people are calling it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I will say pass. Um. Um. I was. I'm not like a huge fan of the elephant print. Um. Mm -hmm. As much. Like mm -hmm. there's a couple. Of, there's a couple instances where I like it, but um, I'm not a fan. I I'm other unlike you, Gabe. I like the mostly black look. Um. I'm not big on like a lot of like white. Yeah, me too. That's why I feel like this shoe would be better if the toe box was black. Mm, okay. If it were if it were all black all the way through. Yeah. It might yeah. I don't know. Just me being picky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so these come out uh today as you read them on November tenth or November eleventh, mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh you will you can check them out the retail for a hundred dollars. Uh but I've already seen raffles for them at Chic. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure these are going to uh be gone. Part time you guys see this, but if you guys can, uh, if you guys can get these somehow, go ahead, do your thing. Uh, next on the list, uh, so we have a uh, quite a few of these colors. So, Nike Kyrie 7, we both, I don't think we want to show express how, how much we like these shoes, mm -hmm. uh, like this new uh silhouette, but uh. So Nike, uh, Nike, uh, Kyrie is dropping his seven, uh, on the 11th, which is okay, today. So when you're seeing this, he'll drop these as well. He's dropping, uh, four, uh, three colorways today and then one on Saturday. So I'm going to go through all, I'm going through all four right now, but I'll let you know when we'll get to the Saturday, which that one's going to be the last one that we show. Okay. Uh, but right to start off with Nike Kyrie Seven Icon of Sport. Mm. I mean, given that we have other colorways dropping, yeah, uh, this is kind of one of my least favorite. Okay. Of the how many is it? Five, seven. What? Colorways no. dropping this on week? on yeah. Uh, four. Okay, yeah. This is uh, this is one of my least favorite. For whatever reason but i mean i like it um i don't know i think it's just the colors that don't work for me okay. they work for me but in, on this particular uh design i guess or colorway it's just not it or maybe it's just a placement i don't know but i'm not 100 percent on board is i'm not and i'm not speculating because I'd, I'd have to see this again i'd have to see it again is this the play that they ran when he shot the shot over uh, over Kerry to win the championship? Oh damn! Is it? Is it? Cause I mean, he is coming. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, uh, yeah. and that's the crazy. The heel graphic represents Irene's game-winning championship shot from the 2016 uh, championship. That's crazy. I was like, cause I saw this little. I saw this little. I was like, yeah, he came yeah. all the way. He did. Come yeah, he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, that is dope. I like that. Look at Kyrie with the details. Always with the details. I love it. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but go ahead, yeah. Yeah, it's just the colorway for me. Yeah. It's it's not the one. Yeah, so um uh, I'm also gonna say pass. Um I like the shoe itself, so uh I don't think we got a chance to like ex express how much we like the actual silhouette mm -hmm. of the seven. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like I really like the shoe itself. Uh, it seems like he's kind of he's kind of figured out his like model of how he likes to shoot, mm -hmm. um, and so 
I like I like the shoe itself. Um, the colorway itself, I'm kind of gonna pass. I don't. I think it's mostly this. Uh, these multi colors of, on the on the bottom. I'm not really feeling. Um, especially because of the fact that you have the Cavaliers colorway here with the like. You know. I don't know if I like the white, bro. I don't either. I think I would. I would. I think I would have been more happy if it if it was uh, black. Yeah. I don't know the whole. Yeah. Be more happy if it was black. Yeah, I think it's just the soul I don't like. Everything else flows. Yeah. Um. Because you, you know you have the you have it like you have the Cavaliers colorway you have that you know Golden State if I if I'm reading into it too much the you know the blue and the gold. So I see it, but eh. So what is it? Another jab at LeBron with the yellow and gold? Yeah. With the yellow and purple? Yellow and purple. Mm. Oh, so no, I was saying I was doing something different. I was saying because I know blue and gold. I know, but, I know. Hey, I I hey. Kyrie, you petty. You petty. I'm we, just saying, man. Hey, we, we, we starting drama over here. Hey Kyrie, you petty <laughs> as hell for taking shots at LeBron, saying that you was the one that won him that championship in uh Cleveland. You petty, bro. Mm. Mm. I mean, I, technically, I it. technically he did, but yeah, hey, I mean, hey, I'm on, I'm on LeBron, LeBron was averaging 40 points a game, so hey, I mean. But if that shot don't happen, I guess. But if LeBron's 40 win. don't happen, they're not in game seven. Hey. Kyrie, so, I mean. Kyrie, <laughs> you the reason. You the reason why Cleveland got a championship. Shout you out. Uh, you ain't do nothing. <laughs> you just his coattails. That's all you did. Yeah. I see you. Um. But yeah, so we speak uh, in basketball now. Unlace, <laughs> unlace basketball. Oh yeah, so uh, we're so uh, that's one. So that's uh, comes out the eleventh. Uh, retail for these are one forty. So he's sticking with the one forty as retail. Yeah. So um, the other colorway that's coming out, uh, Kyrie Seven special effects. Uh, yeah, this one's way better. Okay. Yeah, I like this one a lot more. Okay, Kyrie. All right. Now, now we, now we getting somewhere. Yeah, I like these. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go with gas. Mm-hmm. Um, our resident uh, Kyrie expert, uh, Jeremy. I wish he was here to be able to talk about it. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get his opinions. You know, I'm pretty sure. You know, soon. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have him record his own expert opinion on it. I'm gonna see if I can get him on. on to, uh, I can see if I can clip it onto the show. We'll see though. I can't promise him, but we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would say gas. What do we have in the back here? Uh, what is that? Say? What is that? I don't know. What is that? Does it say on the description? Oh, it's a camera film. It's a camera logo. That's a camera. Uh, look at read the last sentence. The heel has a gold film camera logo with the initials HF. Happy family. I see the HF. Yeah, I don't see the camera. I think the camera is that C uh, looking thing. Um, uh, yeah, that would be the camera okay. facing outward. I would have never got that. Yeah. But, yeah. I like it though. Um, yeah, I'm I'm all for this colorway. I really like this. That's a nice one for sure. I like this. This one is. I think this because this one is all uniform. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This all works a lot better. One color. Um, I like the the liner itself. It's a good uh, complementing color to everything else. Mm-hmm. So it's a gas for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, one forty. These, uh, this one also is coming out November eleventh. Uh, so when you're when you're watching this, this will be these will be out as well. Uh, next, uh, and uh, next one for this one uh, for November eleventh. Mm-hmm. Nike uh, Kyrie Seven Soundwave. Okay. So let's get a, into it. A bit more out there. Yeah, especially with the soul. Um, I would really, really like this shoe better if it weren't for the sole. 
What would, you, what would you have? What would you have preferred on the soul? I don't. Uh, to be honest, one of these lighter colorways. Okay. So had it been like any of these light colors that are being used here, I think it would. It really would have popped it off. Okay. Um, but using this uh this multi colored hmm. soul. Yeah. Uh, no. Nah. I I I would have and tell me if I'm wrong. I would have liked if he used this gold as the soul. Yeah, you know, it's one of those colorways or something. Yeah, something for sure. I think I think if he uses gold right here down on the soul would have been perfect. Um, or even that red from the liner. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, so I think that would have worked. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, it's a cool shoe. I mean, I like it more than the red one. Okay. Yeah, so red is fourth right now. That the FX special effects is two. Okay. This is three. Okay. So let's see what that last one's like. This is a. Okay. Th- I'll, okay. I'll give it a gas though. So I think. Oh yeah. So I did. I did it wrong. So there's five. Okay. So four, right? There's five. Yeah. There's five releasing this week. Okay. So, just in. so yeah, five just released this week. Four are releasing on Wednesday, November 11th, and then one is releasing Saturday. So sorry. So okay. we have two more. Uh, so I would say uh, I would say pass on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, the soul I think is what's killing it for me. But you know, who uh, knows? Maybe in person, I might like it better. Um, but again, 140 retail. Uh, next on list, uh, Sisterhood. Oh, so wait, wait, did I move these wrong? Sisterhood oh, doesn't. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Kyrie expressions. That is going to be. Uh, that's also on Wednesday. Sorry if I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting some Easter vibes on this one. Um, love and art for freedom artistic expression. Just caters to be themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's He's off the dribble. It's mm-hmm. a. It's a good uh, colorway. Not on lie. It works well. Yeah. Um, all the colors here are within that same palette that work. Um, so I can't knock it. Um, yeah. I wouldn't cop it, but it's a nice colorway. It's definitely, yeah. um, yeah, it's a nice one. So I'm going to give this one a gas and then I'm going to go back to the previous one and give that one a pass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to say pass on this. Um, I want to, I want to. After this, I want to talk more about these colorways because I'm starting to see, I'm starting to notice that a lot of, uh, a lot of art, uh, artists, a lot of uh, uh, athletes. Yeah. When it comes to their shoes and their signature shoe, yeah. Now that the the uh, the NBA has taken off their uh, restriction on their color. Yeah. For the uniform on their shoes. Mm-hmm. Um, you're starting to see a lot of out the gate, a lot of like expression with their shoes instead mm-hmm. of it being waiting for like special events mm-hmm. they're kind of just coming out the gate with a lot of like well i'm just gonna release four or five shoes that have that are my own my own uh expression and then yeah there's more of a personal take into yeah. what comes out now so um but yeah or I'm there can be more of a personal yeah, take exactly um so I want, so these come out as well november 11th today uh, uh retail 140 Mm-hmm. Uh, and then last but not least, so this Kyrie comes out. So sisterhood, this Kyrie comes out on Saturday. Do these come out? Um, is sisterhood just the Kyrie thing? Uh, I don't know. Cause I know they have another, um, other, uh, fem- uh, women's releases, uh-huh. um, that share this colorway. So I don't know, like I don't know if this is a a, a Kyrie only oh, thing. Oh yeah, but... so this is uh so the skin, the pair features an all over print used throughout Nike Sisterhood collection. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, yeah okay, so they have because the whole... there's a pair of uh, Sisterhood uh, Jordan ones that I like actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Kyrie, it's uh, it's worth noting to say Kyrie is, is a, a strong advocate for the WNBA, mm-hmm. and also trying to push their uh their game forward to get them uh get more uh more uh, uh or i guess more view and more support mm-hmm. for the WNBA. 
Yeah. So um, I think this is really uh, cool as well. Like, just, you know, worth noting. Just yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, Kyrie, Seven Sisterhood, uh, thoughts? Mm, I like it. Okay. It's uh, definitely the most toned down out of all of them. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to give this one a pass. Okay. Personally. Uh, I mean, I like it. I really do. But um, I don't know how much I like it. <laughs> hmm. uh, I'm going to say pass, mm-hmm. but I do like it. Um, I don't, I, I think it's, I don't like, like, I don't like this white up here. Mm-hmm. And I might just be nitpicking, honestly, at this point. But also probably because of the fact that you're doing you do the black liner, the black laces. Like I probably I think I probably would like this more if the missile was white. I mean with black. If that's maybe. Okay. I don't think it would work if it were black. You don't think so? No. I mean black and blue hard it's tough to go with black and blue. Mm. Um they're two dominant colors. Um, but yeah, I don't, I think it's the, to, for me, I think it's the, the, the gum sole. You think? Yeah, I don't know. I do too, but I don't know if this is the colorway for it. Mm. Um, and because the only other thing that's gum is the Nike swoosh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if the swoosh was white or I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm yeah. over it. <laughs> it's, cool. it's, it's whatever. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, I so these pass. come out. Uh, so these come out on uh, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, the fourteenth. Yeah. These will be one thirty. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm so from reading this, I believe that these are going to be a. I think these are geared towards the woman's release. Yeah. So that's why the the retail is one thirty. So, uh. But yeah, so all the ones that we checked out pre- prior to this one will be out on Wednesday, the eleventh. So when you're watching this, the previous four that we uh, showed will be out today, mm-hmm. and then this one will be out on Saturday. Uh, um, so definitely check those out. Um, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to get your hands on uh, a few pair if you like them. If you're bu- if you're getting back in the gym and balling, you know, you know, grab your Kyrie Sevens. So check them out. Uh, shout out to Kyrie. I really like uh, I really like what you're doing with some of these colorways. So cool. Um, so then next on the list, uh, we we drool about the shoe every time we talk about it. The Air Jordan Five. What the? November twelfth. So that'll be that's going to be Thursday. Um, I don't think we have to like really. We've already spoke how much we love this shoe. I don't think we have to. Do you want? Do you want to do another drooling session on this shoe? No, nah, I really <laughs> like this shoe, man. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I want it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No. No, we don't need another one, bro. Yeah. Uh, That's still, a gas. Still, um, I personally haven't still haven't seen any pictures of the right shoe. Um. I don't know what that is for, uh, but I, all together, uh, this shoe is still great. Can't wait. Um, gonna be gonna be uh, gonna be a great shoe. Can't can't really wait for this to drop. Uh, if you haven't done your raffles for this shoe yet, um, I'm pretty sure by the time you see this, they have already done the raffles. Um, the Sheik up here, I think, is going to do the announcement uh, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Well, Tuesday. So, yeah, tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, we both gas. Hope you guys get a pair. If you guys don't, hey, if you guys do and, you know, trying to get them off your hands, mm-hmm. send a half mm-hmm. this way. Uh, we're not doing crazy prices. Just letting you all know that now. Gabe has said on the show many times. You don't, uh, you don't talk I mean, even them. early pairs are not going for retail. So, yeah. um, I missed a couple for like buy it now, two fifty, two sixty, yeah. free shipping, mm-hmm. um, which is basically retail because two twenty five plus tax, two fifty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So, yeah, let us know. Okay. Uh, last on the list, the Air Jordan High OG, what Gabe was talking about earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I'll pass on this one, bro. Like, I just <laughs> look at even this picture's pissing me off, bro. <laughs> look at that. Uh, what is this? 14. So, it's a Saturday release, bro. What is that Wings logo? It's like at a fucking 70 degree angle, bro. <laughs> like, nah, no, hmm. no for Gabe. I like it. Don't get me wrong, I have sentimental ties to that colorway. Mm-hmm. But the execution of this retro in particular, I don't like. Okay. Like, bro, please, please open a new tab and look up the 2001 retro. 2001? Like, yeah, the 2001 Co JP. Okay, I got it. Hold on, I got, I got it. Man, this won't be out the way. Hold on. You yeah, know, do your thing. Uh, Okay. Um, oh, I know. This is the day after we go for stuff. I got this. I had to look it up on StockX because for some reason, my, 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 uh, wait, that is not it. What is this? Oh my God. This is taking, this is doing more than it needs to do right now. I gotta well, then. Yeah. well then, yeah. well if you look, look here, look, I'll do it. I'll share the screen. Do it, yeah, please. Look, because my shit, like my shit, goes from Google to Yahoo. So in Yahoo's browser, it sucks. It doesn't give me shit. It just gives me a bunch of aftermarket shit. Here you go. Look, I got it right here. No. Oh, don't tease me with this size ten and a half. <laughs> oh lord look at this can I blow up this picture can you? oh you you playing me <laughs> uh, you don't serve me any, you don't help me if I can't zoom in wow I'm upset um. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, uh help me, please. <laughs> the uh, the the silver one, right? Oh, the blue one. The blue one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, show me the blue one. Watch. Here, look. Here it is. All right. <clears throat> the picture that Stock X has isn't the greatest because it's a shoe of um oh you 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 got to enable it bro. I can't share screens with you. But the one that Stock X uses is a little ashy. <laughs> um but it's a retro plus colorway back in the day. Well, well, not how do I enable it? Because it's not giving me any options. I mean, it's all good, bro. We, we probably should have planned it out. I probably should have planned it out. No, you good. But either way, yeah, the, I'm, mm, I just don't like the quality and execution behind that retro. Okay. Uh, let me go back. That's a pass for me. Yeah. So people can still see it. Okay. Uh, so you said pass? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, pass for me. I don't. I don't care for it. Um, never did. Uh, yeah, so uh, these will be releasing uh, the 14th, which is Saturday, for 170 retail. Uh, try to get your hands on if you if you can. If mm-hmm. you can't, hey. Uh, if you want, also. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you want, also, make sure that you um, send Gabe a pair if you, if, uh, if you have an extra pair. 
I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I probably uh, won't wear it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was gas or pass. Yeah. Uh, that was gas or pass. Um. So yeah. Uh. What do we, is there anything else we have planned on our docket that we need to talk about? Um, we have no, that's it. Uh, the outro or the, any last thoughts? Um, I don't really have any no. other than um, I want those fives. <laughs> uh, and uh, popular opinion says that the, those fives are better than the fours. Sixty-two percent voted for the fives. Okay. Thirty-eight percent voted for the fours. Okay. Um. But yeah, nothing really great on my radar for shoes wise. Um. November has some bigger releases towards the end of the month. Mm-hmm. Um. And yeah, so does Unlaced. Hopefully, at yeah. the end of the month. Yeah. Or in a week and a half, or two weeks. Who knows? But yeah, <laughs> you guys, you guys will see it on the show. Um, yeah, uh, we'll be sure to uh, announce it on the show so that you guys can get a, a head start to it to know when they're coming. Mm-hmm. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, we'll we'll be posting updates. Yeah, um, and we'll and we'll have hopefully uh, a an update for all returning customers. Yeah, you know, gotta look out for them. Yeah. And uh, anyone who has anyone who makes a purchase, please use an email that you actually use. Please, because uh, um, if no, if you guys weren't aware, not that you should be, but uh, that's easy data for a company to keep mm-hmm. and use. Mm-hmm. Um, so we would like to implement that. Yeah. Um, so if you have, if you've used an email that you do work that you do use, uh, expect an email. Mm-hmm. <laughs> from us uh, within the next couple of weeks maybe one two and read what's in there because it'll benefit you for sure yeah definitely um so make sure you guys check that out uh we'll be work uh we're working on getting that um at some point we talked about this uh possibly sending out emails so you guys get updates on sales Mm -hmm. and releases as well Mm -hmm. um and like gabe said there uh make sure you read those emails because there's always some stuff in there that's beneficial for you guys if you guys are uh are returning customers or people that are just uh that are subscribed to you know the website and everything mm-hmm. uh, or if you want to hook someone up you know maybe exactly. you've already bought everything and then you got a friend like yo where can i get that yeah send them Please, your, cause I'm, yeah because yeah, i'm tired of having people say yo i didn't know about this and your friend didn't tell me and it's like that yo if you watch the show if you follow us on uh on social media you will know where you need to go to get everything there's no both accounts let everybody know what's going on so you shouldn't be out of the loop or anything so make sure you guys do that uh so with that being said uh make sure that you guys uh follow us on ig Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unlaced x podcast and at unlaced x threads uh t-h-r-e-a-d-s make sure you guys follow us both on on both social medias to get all updates on uh on the clothing line as well as the show itself uh we'll be dropping uh some more information as time comes on uh, make sure that you guys, if you guys are still watching, please like, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, that helps us. That helps people be able, new followers see us. That helps you see all our new content that we drop. Um, and also, please, in the comments below, if there's any content that you guys want to see from us, if there's anything that you guys want us to do more of or want us to add to the show or just as separate content, please comment below and let us know. Uh, it helps us uh, because we want to give you guys the things that you want content-wise. Uh, we're trying to work on new ideas for content to figure out what will work and how we can get that uh, to you guys. But we also would help if you guys let us know what you guys want to see because, again, we are here to you know help you guys out and make you guys uh, enjoy our content. So, again, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, uh, do all those different things. Let a friend know. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, all these podcasts are on all streaming platforms now. So if you if you listen to your podcast on Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. Spotify, Google Podcaster, Radio Public, whatever, please make sure that you guys uh, check out. The links will be in the comments. It'll be in the pinned comment below. All the links uh, to you can check it out as well as on our social media. You can see in our link uh, our link tree and on our um, on our website unlaced.family. Check us out. Uh, make sure that you guys uh, help us 
get our voices out there and that you guys can enjoy our content more often and accept more accessibly true how you guys you know listen to y'all content so yeah mm -hmm. with that being said um we're done here we are all right <laughs> uh make sure you guys check out next week's episode uh we're gonna have a lot of fun with that because it's gonna be a lot more stuff going on mm -hmm. yeah. till then uh you guys have a safe week and let it play us peace. happy happy copping for you guys man oh, hope you guys yeah, get what definitely. you want oh yeah definitely please <laughs> <laughs> all right.